Hi everyone, it's Gail here with a little tutorial on making how I make kind of my faux leather uh, covers for journals. And I, I did a video long ago, but it's, you know, down in the depths of all my videos. And I'm getting ready to do a new cover for um, my Artie Mays design team project. So I thought I'd turn on the camera while I make the, while I make the cover. So, um, first of all, though, it's Thanksgiving today, so I wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and let you know that you are one of the things I'm very, very grateful for in my life. I had no idea that I'd find such a wonderful community of people uh, once I retired and started being able to do my fun thing full time. <laughs> So thank you all for enriching my life and um, and making this this chapter in my life as good as it can be. So anyway, hope you all have a great Thanksgiving and let's get started. So um, I got this tissue paper from an Etsy order and this is what I'm going to make my cover with. It looks like burlap. It's it's really kind of fun so and then this is going to be the inside this is one of the beautiful digitals from the kit I'm using which is uh cardinal Christmas that might not be the exact exact name of it. cardinal rose I think it's cardinal rose so anyway from Artie Mays let's get started pull up the sleeves get going here so I do not want the flap so we are going to just take that and make it go down like so then we're going to take our tissue paper and gosh it's about perfect that way so we're going to cut um about an inch and an or an inch and a half around. And we have another little piece to play with some other day. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna Mod Podge the whole cover. I'm gonna use my larger brush. And just, I think I'll just pour some out because that's the quickest way to do this. Okay, so we're going to get all the way over to the edges. Smooth it out a little bit. Okay, and I am going to take out for a moment my wax paper while I just put this on. Okay, so I want it to be fairly straight so I can lay my paper down straight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna just lightly take my hands and just kind of, ah, just kind of scrunch. Lightly, I said, lightly. Okay, well, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to fix that. This is very thin paper. I didn't realize it was so thin, but that's okay. We can, we can patch it. It'll be just fine. As usual, in a Gale video, you always get the worst case scenario, don't you? Oh, it's just, it's just how I roll, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll just put that on and scrunch it a bit. And make sure, um, 
any wrinkles that you have are scrunched down well. I have another little hole there, but that's okay. That will cover up and that will be uh, on the front cover, which I'm gonna layer up anyway. So then I flip it over and I cut from the corners up this way, angle, angle, on all four corners, angle, angle, I hope that's in frame somewhat. Let's put it up here so we make sure. And we're just angling it. And one more. Okay. All right. And then we're just going to put the sides down one by one. And I, um, I like to put a little Mod Podge under my flap as well, just to kind of just squash it down a little bit. Okay, so then I'm just gonna Mod Podge on the envelope rather than the tissue. And we're just gonna fold it up it's okay if it gets wrinkles because that just gives it, you know, more texture. So yeah, I started the morning by watching the Macy's Parade, which I love to do. My husband and I are on our own this year. All our kids are at in-laws, so it's been a little weird, but it's been okay. And um, I love the Macy's Parade, so I watched the Macy's Parade in my jammies. <laughs> And um, oh, the Rockettes are just my all time favorite. I just, I love watching them. They're so much fun to watch. Um, it's kind of on my bucket list, but I don't know. New York City is a long, long way away from Montana. So I don't know if we'll ever get there, but maybe someday. Um, Yes, when I was a little girl, I was I was pretty sure that's what I would be when I grew up was a rocket. You know, one would have probably had to have dance lessons to make that happen, and I never did. So there you go. But but I sure enjoy watching them on Thanksgiving. They're so fun to watch. Okay, so then our inside is ready. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put Mod Podge all over the inside here and we're gonna put our paper down. Let me see how, okay, about there. Um, and I usually just kind of slop it on. It doesn't have to be nice and neat and I usually go about halfway and then lift it up and do the other half so let's just let's just center that nicely we've got a little okay And then we'll just do the rest. And um, I've printed my digital. I've been trying to remember to tell you because I always get questions. I use 32 pound matte photo paper on my digital prints and um, They come out so nice and bright and it's uh, the paper I use is from Red River Paper Company and that is they have an online get my, my wax paper back down here I'm just gonna go around the tissue paper with Mod Podge to 
not only seal it, but also to strengthen it some. And that will work great. And then we're gonna do, um, we're gonna Mod Podge the whole front of this cover. Once again, not only seals it, but it also strengthens it. And then I'll show you how we do sort of the making it look like leather. Although I don't, I'm going to do a very, a very light coat on this one um, because I don't, I don't want it to um, cover up the burlap look, but I just want it a little darker. Okay, so I'm going to use my dryer to dry this a little bit so I can flip it over here. Maybe thin out a little bit here. So I got a text from one of my daughters and she ran a 5K this morning at her in-laws. And so she gets to eat as much turkey today as she wants to. <laughs> so I thought I would do this quick little tutorial and then my husband and I are gonna get busy and make our turkey. Okay, so that's that's pretty dry, not super dry, but that will be the inside. Um, and then um, that's interesting how that made kind of a dark spot, but that's okay. Because like I say, once we get the um, antiquing medium on it, it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna fairly gently put Mod Podge over the top here just because it's thin tissue paper. Like Tim Holtz tissue paper, you can be a little more heavy handed because it's a thicker paper, but this is pretty thin. Um, and I try and smooth out where the wrinkles in the tissue paper are. I try and smooth out the Mod Podge a little bit. So, cause it tends to gather there. <laughs> and so um, we'll just try and smooth that out a little bit. And just a fairly thin coat but it will it will make it sturdy and it'll be fun I really like the burlap that was that was fun I received an order from Etsy from Cat Hand who has been kind of one of my mixed media heroes for a, a number of years. Gosh, I've been a subscriber of her channel for years. So um, it was fun. She had some things that she actually had a tag on her shop that she made. And I thought, oh, I would just love to have some of her art. So I picked that up and We'll put that in a journal. I'm thinking I'd like to make a journal that um, where I can put some things like that because I do I do have some things from other artists that I really admire that I would like to to keep, but it's not you know it doesn't really go in my junk journal friends journal. So I'm gonna have to think on that. I actually got a blank journal a long time ago, probably a year, year and a half ago from Sagita. And I love her grungy work. It's so, so cool. Um, 
And so I was thinking about maybe putting that stuff in there. Okay, I'm just going back and kind of picking up some of the Mod Podge that's stuck in the cracks. And the reason that I do that is because it will dry white because there's such a, you know, such a gathering of the Mod Podge. Okay, so we've got that done. So bear with me while I dry that up. Maybe not totally, but definitely more dry than it is right now. And it's, it's already beginning to feel leathery. So... Got a little rip right there, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to layer on top of this cover. Okay. Ah, that's sticky. Okay, I think that's dry enough. Now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take some of this. This is Folk Art brand and um, from Hobby Lobby and it's Antiquing Medium. Let me get this up to the camera so you can kind of see Antiquing Medium. This particular color is Nutmeg. And um, sometimes I use several colors of these. If I just use Craft, which... Um, If I had a little of that that I could show you, I will grab it. Um, I have this roll. This is from Home Depot. And it's called Masking Paper. And it's in the paint department. And it makes great faux leather covers. Um, I put it on just like we put on this tissue paper. And then often with that, I will use several types, um, several colors of the antiquing medium just to give it a, a different feel. So, okay, let's get our little tray out here. And, um, and then I just use a baby wipe and get the paint goober off of it. And I'm just going to put a little bit in my tray here. And just work with a little bit so I get a little bit on my baby wipe. And then I just kind of rub it, rub it around. And like I say, I'm going to go fairly light with this one because I do want that burlap. But, um... I do kind of want it to settle into the cracks a little bit. Okay, I'm liking that. Just it just gives it a little more color. And a circular motion is kind of nice because it it keeps it from being too, you know, and so you can see the, the marks. I actually kind of like that patch at the bottom. That's kind of cool. Just gives it another little bit of texture. And so just going over the hole, I hope you can see the difference from where we have used the antiquing medium and where we have not. Um, 
I think it just gives it a really nice finish and brings out the, the veins of the wrinkles in the paper a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more because we're going to do the inside as well. Oh, there we go. A little bit more. Got a whole bunch. That's all right. Maybe I'll just grab some paper and do another one. Have it have it ready for another another journal project. Okay. So that looks good. Get the, the wax paper and lay this down and I'm just going to kind of carefully go over the edges trying not to get it on the um, digital paper we do it's no big deal it kind of makes it look like we've edged it but This is a little wider on this side and this is the front so I think I'm gonna put some lace on that as I work along with this little this little cover got some clumps of glue I'm just squashing out with my or Mod Podge that I was just squishing out with my hand there Okay, so there we have it. This little cover is all ready. I can layer on what I want to layer on and we're ready to go. So I'm going to set this one aside and I'm thinking since I have all that antiquing medium that we might do another quick one. And maybe what we'll do is just use that roll of masking paper and, um, whoops, making a mess in my craft room. <laughs> okay, um, and I wanted to tell you too that, you know, that craft color is awesome, but it also comes in kind of a light green, which is, which is really great too. I'm going to just kind of cover that up and hope that it stays moist. Um, and let's just see that this is like the perfect width really and so I just give it a snip and uh, this makes great pages in your journal as well so it's kind of double duty there okay let's slap some Mod Podge on here and do another one quick like ah too much too much Mod Podge <laughs> oh my gosh oh Gail as usual I am just just a small disaster waiting to happen I need to get another bottle of Mod Podge I'm finding myself lower than I'm used to Okay, we'll see how that does. Jeez. Okay. Well, we've got plenty, but that's okay. In order to use up the paint, I used up half of my bottle of Mod Podge. <laughs> and 
and that's how I roll. It's just always an adventure. Well, that, that should, that should be good. I can get a little of it back in the, back in the jar. There. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that down onto our paper. Once again, we're just gonna kind of scrunch and make some veins in the paper. Maybe this is even easier for you guys to see. So it might have been a meant to be. <laughs> and I have to say, having that extra thick coat of Mod Podge kind of makes it easier to smush this. Okay. So no particular rhyme or reason to the smushing, but okay. I think it's pretty well dry, so we'll do this part. cover up that paint because my heater came on. I'm scared it's going to dry out before I can get this cover made. But it is a quick, fairly quick and easy way to make a really fun um, faux leather cover. And uh, one of the things I really like about using these covers is they're really flexible. So as I have um, sort of a <laughs> habit of doing, I usually get um, carried away with my decorating and these are really flexible so they bend around if your book gets real chubby on you. It, it will bend around and so the main thing is kind of pulling it up from the side so you have a nice crisp line there. Um, be awesome. I'll have a whole nother one, whole nother one done for another project. And, you know, if you kind of got it the first time, you don't have to watch the second one, but not sure I'll say anything so profound that you will have missed something if you don't watch the rest of it. <laughs> But I do think you'll be able to really see how the full leather shows up so nicely um, on this one because it is just plain rather than the, the burlap look. Just making sure all the edges are down. And, and then what I'll do is I'll just put this over in my area to um, where I keep covers and I can put the inside paper on it um, when I have a project for it. So um, I'll just leave it this faux leather and then um, more or less finish it once I have a project to use it on. 
<clears throat> and most normally I use these for my digital kits. And uh, so there's always, you know, one really pretty plain paper in all the digital kits or, you know, or a decorative one. I don't know, but that works really well. There's always one that works well on the inside, I guess is what I'm saying. Once again, trying to work the Mod Podge out of the crevices of the of the folds like right here hopefully that's in camera was when I started but my glass mat moved I think it looks like it's in camera <laughs> it's kind of hard to see because my little thing that holds my phone is uh, it's got solid where I wish it had a little more open space but I've decided for my craft with me videos that I try to make about an hour long. I think I need what I need to do with my new holder and my new phone is I need to get a little kitchen timer or something. My husband said set the alarm on your phone and it'll go off <laughs> when your hours up and I'm like I that would probably scare you viewers and me have to death so if that went off when so or i don't know it's still a work in progress getting all this figured out but i really do love this arm and it's um the brand name of it is u the letter u green and um it was uh actually it was liz smith on junk journal junkies chat facebook group and she told about it and i went on oh i went on and um ordered it right away because i as i've told you don't have a lot of floor space a lot of room and the tripod i was constantly knocking into it and it just made the space a lot more tight than it needed to be so I'm really I'm really enjoying having more room and this just attaches to the table now I have a more stable table so I mean my old table if I was brushing like this it would be jiggling the camera all over I'm hoping it isn't <laughs> so okay I am going to get that dry real quick so that I can Put on the antiquing medium. And we will we will have this one going. And I am just gonna basically show you the effect of the antiquing medium. I will tell you, you know, I've I, I use tissue paper, I use this craft paper. The other thing you can use is sewing pattern paper. And that looks really cool too for a sewing journal, which I maybe should have done that. I have a sewing journal coming up sort of on my list of of projects, so maybe should have done that. But that's okay. I'm on a roll. Maybe I'll make another one. Maybe not on camera, but <laughs> okay. So that's pretty dry. So you can see it doesn't take a super long time to dry. Um, good. Now I can use up, hopefully, all this that I squirted out. Okay. So now we're just going to just gonna rub it in. And... See the difference it just it just really just really does make it look like like it's leather and again I'm kind of going in circles Get a little more in the cracks of the paper I 
hear my husband up there. He must be prepping to do the turkey. I said, can I do a quick video before making the turkey? And he said, oh, sure. So, of course, I decided to make two covers instead of one with you guys. <laughs> ah, doesn't matter. Dinner can be whenever because we're just on our own. But we had a great weekend with our Montana kids last weekend, so I can't be too too sad. Got to share with the in-laws. It's the it's the way it is when your kids grow up and get married. <laughs> okay, so going to need a little bit more. Try not to get a whole ton. Kind of going with the the folds so that it gets really down in the in the cracks of the folds. Okay. So there is that side. I I'm really kind of liking it. So I don't know that I'm going to do another color. I think I might just leave that as is. So I hope you can see that well and how that turns out. I am going to show you quickly if I can get to it. Um, the other masking paper. So this is the other one. It's just this nice green color and it's it's great for making these two. So there you have it. Hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll just see you next time. Bye everybody.